Hello, everybody. I'm Corey, and we're talking manpower. Today, I've got a very special guest with me. I've got Ms. Frances Rivera. She's a manpower analyst at the Office of the Assistant Chief of Staff for Installation Management, or ACSEN. Ms. Rivera, thank you very much for being here today. I really appreciate it. Thank you. So, you were a graduate of the CP26 intern program. How was, how was your experience within that program? Well, my experience was outstanding. It was more than I expected. Um, I came into the program with the mindset ready to grow and be groomed and to get as much training as I could. With that mindset, I sought for growth and learning opportunities. I didn't wait for them to come find me. Instead, I went out and sought them. So kind of having that, that go-getter type attitude. Yes, absolutely. I received uh, top-notch training and mentorship. Plus, I was able to work with the Army's finest documenters at USAFEMSA. The program has a lot of resources available to you, and you just have to be willing to seek them and grab them when they come available. So how did the program help prepare you for your current position, um, which is at the Office of the Assistant Chief of Staff for Install Man Installation Management, or OAXM? I'd say the formal hands-on training I received during my internship prepared me the most. Um, the program provided me with an opportunity to attend functional training that touched on each aspect of our career competencies as a CP26 careerist. Um, as an intern, I was able to take challenging courses like the Manpower and Force Management course, the Defense Resource Management course, the DRMC, the HR course, and the FA50 course, which gave me the foundational knowledge I needed to succeed in my current position at OAXM. That sounds like a really diverse and very interesting group of courses that you've taken, and I'm, and and you know, gaining that those core competencies type of thing. Absolutely. So, from my understanding, um, you're the only manpower analyst within your organization. Is this is this challenging being the only one? Absolutely. It is at times, but I look at those challenges and opportunities to improve my competencies and enhance my knowledge in manpower. The work is demanding, but it also provides me an invaluable experience. As the sole manpower analyst for OAXM, um, it is my responsibility to be the honest broker to my leaders and my agency, my perspective has changed since I came to the agency and from Yusuf Femza. I was actually able to see how the Army runs from a different lens. Depending on what echelon you are sitting at, I believe a different perspective helps with growth on both depth and breadth. It also is important to understand that the growth aspect of the CB26 program and to soak up every opportunity you're provided with, no matter how challenging it may become. So what products, products and, and guidance do you provide um, to the organization and then why are these important? The most recent uh, project I was able to um, assist my agency with and had the privilege to assist them with is the HQDA comprehensive review and to apply the design principles at my organizations, organization. The delaying effort that I worked on required me to assist the OAXM leadership in making challenging decisions impacting our TDA. Um, these changes focused on the strategic relevance for our future requirements rather than the faces encumbering them. Also, I ensured um, the manpower authorizations met our mission capabilities and actually based on the workload priorities and POM requirements. Basically, in a nutshell, I had to balance the manpower requirements in an environment of constrained resources while trying to mitigate the risk. Well, that sounds that sounds very challenging. It, it was. Um, are you enjoying your time at OAXM? Oh yes, I am. I love what I do every day and I love coming to work and the people I work for and with. 
OAXM provides me with an opportunity of growth in the application of my skills at CB26 Carreras. But most importantly, my leaders value my input and appreciate my role as a CP26. In turn, I am willing to support the mission and I believe it's what you make of an opportunity that plays a big role in your success. Well, I mean, I guess being the only one in the organization and having that kind of trust and that value from your leadership must must be very empowering. It is. And I would assume very motivating as well. It is, very. So let's switch gears here and go back to the CP26 intern program a minute. What was the most valuable asset you learned during your time in the program? Uh, I'd say the building those relationships and finding mentors, um, keeping a list of people you meet during your classes and rotations. Um, I made sure I, in every course I went to, I had a list and kept their point of contacts, their no numbers, and keep continu continuously keep in contact with them. Um, when I sought mentors, I ensured that I um, found a mentor that was unbiased and motivated and was a competent advisor to me. Um, Pretty much when you find a mentor, you need to ensure that they're not, that they, a mentor will give you, uh, they're able to assist you with their, based on their person, the professional experience, they're able to assist you with their, with helping you achieve your career goals. So kind of giving them the, kind of giving you the best advice with taking taking the emotion of being your friend out of it Absolutely. and saying, hey, yes, Francis, you did really well at this, but this aspect you could improve on. And, and I guess sometimes that harsh criticism is hard to take, but at the same time, very valuable professionally because it helps you grow and helps you learn more. Yes. And that's what you, and that's what you need. Um, also, they can help expand your network portfolio and arrange for special projects because they've been in the career a lot longer than yeah. you and help build that path for you when you don't know which way to go. So what did you enjoy most about being in the CP26 intern program? I, it provided me with an opportunity that I was able to apply um, and, and learn during the program. Um, essentially, I was able to apply everything that I learned during the program and see how everything nests together with the manpower, the budget, the HR aspect of so, being a CP26. So it's kind of seeing how the Army runs away from the warfighter, which is you know a, a large swath of, of what the Army does and the American public sees as the centerpiece of the Army of the soldier. And then we're, you're kind of on this career path that's, that's kind of um, doing it on the backside yes. kind of thing. So what advice would you give to those um, that are in the intern program today? Um, have that aha moment a lot sooner than I did. To get out of your cubicle and start building those relationships. Make sure you volunteer for committees and projects. And don't be a cubicle junkie. And don't get comfortable where you are. You have to move around. Um, just remember that promotion requires motion. Well, I've got to... I got to remember that because I'll tell you one thing, my cubicle is very comfortable and I, I have a really great chair and a really great desk. So I enjoy being behind there a lot, but I've definitely got to heed that. Um, so what's the best part about being a member of the CP26 community? And what would you say to someone who's thinking of joining the career field? That there are many career fields out there. However, CP26 is the only one that provides you with an opportunity to learn about manpower. HR and budget all in one. Um, you can be this 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 me in, in all three aspects, and it gives you a, a breadth of knowledge um, that you can move around in, in different areas. And especially with my agency, not until they got a CP26 uh, careerist. Did they not know the value of having one until they received one? Um, so it, it, it's very important that 
what what's it's very important to know what CB26 has to offer. Well, Miss Rivera, I really appreciate you taking the time. I know being the sole the sole man for analyst at Axum, you, you have a lot going on. But I appreciate you joining us today, and I really appreciate it. No problem. But it's very exciting. You're always busy, and I love it. Well, everyone, that's all we have for this edition of Talk and Manpower. I'm Corey. Thank you all for joining us. Thank you all for listening. And we look forward to our next segment. In the meantime, feel free to like CP26 on Facebook, which is facebook.com slash armycp26, for the most up-to-date news and information from Career Program 26, Manpower and Force Managers. Until next time, have a great Army Day.